fuck out of here. Every time I battle Philly rappers, I kill them. I got Ron and Tech the fuck out of here. Every time I battle Philly rappers, I kill Every time I battle Philly rappers, I kill them. Black, it's your motherfucking boy J Black, aka Black Man Up. I'm here today for a very different, special type of blog. A blog that needs to be addressed, you know. Something that has been on the forefront of many conversations. And that's Philadelphia. The battle rap scene in Philadelphia. What has happened to it? What's happening to it now? Where will it go? How can we fix this? Who did this? What's the problem? Let's address a lot of these things right now. Uh, first and foremost, Philadelphia was one of the best, arguably the top two scenes in battle rap. Me personally, I started watching the battle rap off of two people. Two battles, I'll say. Read Dollar. Don't make me get the poke and something. You don't want to see that sawed off spaz on your ass or that 187 ski mask out the cab. I lay against the ropes. We even I jab, dip that with the right, then wean, you get tagged. <laughs> and T Rex versus NH. And let's just, let's just think about those matches real fast. Read Dollars versus New York representative one. He's barking on this man, and he got loaded Lux in the background, not wanting to jump in. Like, this nigga is, is eating. He got a full plate right there. So, we had Reed Dollars being admired by loaded Lux. How the times have changed. You had NH versus Rex, same power level, barking at each other back and forth. Crazy classic match. And I don't care how much your motherfucking watch costs, mm. I'll make you take your motherfucking watch off. Mm. Make you niggas try to run when it pop off. Get him till you aim at his head, bro, his top off. Mm. You're not soft. Stop running your face. Before I have to put the gun in your face, aim it low. Pow, put one in his waist. Aim it high. Pow, put one in his face. The times have changed. And this is crazy. The book bag. Wall paint, the vest is the ammo, the K over the shoulder, shit, I thought you was Rambo. What happened? What happened? Where is it? It's a battle. Where is it? I can't bring it here. You have failed this city. Major gunners have been taking L's, you know? The primary battle rappers that we grew up with took the L's. And the main argument that's been made is like, oh, if this New York guy takes an L, how come they don't look back at him oh, or look back at New York like, boom, oh, New York losing? It's because there's so many of them niggas. If Clips takes an L here, DNA might win over there. If Rex lose over here, Mook gonna win over here. If Sean lose over here, Lux is winning over here. So for each loss, there's someone still winning. And the thing about their L's, it's, it's like debatable, so he didn't care, blah, 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 it's those type of L's. The L's that Philly take is like, damn, that nigga did not prepare at all. He came in to this exam and did not study one bit. You know what I mean? The, the structure. His flow, his cadence is from 2001, 2003. Coming into 2014 format. It's like, no. It's no. Did the guy study at all? At the end of the day, you gotta get mad at that person for not representing your your state, your, your, your scene right. You gotta look at him like this is not the best that Philly has to offer. It's gonna take a lot to recover what has been done. It's gonna take a strong team of Philly rappers in the course of two to three years if they don't, if somebody doesn't step on the scene and just body somebody. And when I say, oh, a Philly rapper has to body somebody. I'm talking about L. Will versus Johnny Alcatraz type of body. Like this. Juice told me to talk to your tongue ring. Because yep. that's the problem. Uh -oh. This awkward, but at your tongue ring. It's <laughs> pop. <laughs> hey, girl, why you fuck with this nigga? You ain't even supposed to be fucking with niggas. <laughs> hey, because just let him know. He just keep coming with all that bullshit fronting out his mouth, talking about some shit that he knows nothing about. I cock back, wave the steel, and throw some of your cousins in his mouth. Damn, who the fuck is?
is that guy. And that person has to win that battle screaming Philly every round. Like, this is Philly, this is Philly, this is Philly. That's what has to happen for shit to change overnight. But we're not going to... That's something hard to do. That's something hard to do. So I'm saying the course of two to three years, it has to be consistency. You'll have to do what St. Louis did. Verb, Hitman, Ill, that has to happen. A strong three. The big three has to happen out of Philly. A new team. My whole thing is the spotlight has to take has to be taken away from the so-called legends of our city. You see what I'm saying? It has to be it has to be moved and shifted to someone else. You know I mean? That's going to be hard to do. That's going to be very hard to do. You call yourself Big Daddy and hit girls? Well, that's a bitch-ass move, motherfucker. My mother, Russia, it'll be a long night, bitch, because she kick ass, too. You have failed this city. That's... I just want to compare what I'm about to say to Rocky Three, when... When, when Rocky lost against Clubber Lang. Apollo Creed took him to the gym where all the hungry cats are. Like, spar with these niggas. Do what you do with these niggas. Watch these niggas eat food. I don't think the Philly, the Philly vets are even watching the new talent in their own city and spar with them, train with them, battle with them off camp, exchange shit. That's not happening. I don't think that's happening at all. So oh, all shit. Who talking? Ripping the tool off from headshot before he dropped. Ripping the juice off from stomach shot. Headshot. Right. Niggas is moonwalking. You have failed this city. Bottom line, Philly has to stop being so divided. A movement needs to be made within these battle rappers. New and old. A movement needs to be started. A clear movement. Every win has to be shouted with Philly. This is Philly. We got to choose our battles wisely. <clears throat> but I'm not here to talk about the old talent. Matter of fact, I am going to talk about the old talent. Let's start with the new people first. Uh, I've been doing a little research, you know. <clears throat> I've been watching battles here, there, over here. And I've seen a few people that I like. I've seen two that I like and then one cat that... I'm like, damn, what the fuck happened to him? And he was one of the newer cats. I'm like, yo, he's going to be somebody. I think I told myself about a year and a half or two years ago, he's going to be somebody now. And he's not where I want him to be. Let me start with Big Hand. He's one of the new people that I see. It's like, damn. He's a strong Philly person. That has adapted, that spits like how you're supposed to be spitting. Said we cut different. 8812 with the bucks in it. Used to getting niggas lost. I'm opposed to Lux Vision. Hope they fine. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Nigga, I will shove a gun so far in your mouth, I hit your tonsils. They say your life flashed before your eyes before you die. News. Don't make a nigga rewind you. If you could just transfer what he does into one of the vets, Philly would be okay right now. I'm a different breed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Niggas can't mock me five. My mind move at a different speed. Let me go. I watched three of his battles. In his last one, he's somebody that I would bank on. He has the overall package. He has performance here. He has bars over here. He got structure. He lines his stuff up correctly. Fraud. Yeah. I said niggas fraud. Yeah. Niggas fraud. Talking about they gripping them tools. Nigga, you lying. We all know the saying. You can't believe shit from the news. I'm a block of it. <laughs> I watched your battle. It got 7,000 views. I think the most, the most, the most he got is 10,000 views. Why is this? It's disheartening. But we played, we paid so much attention to that million view loss. That's what I'm talking about. You got a million view loss over here for Philly. And you got this one guy, Big Hand, doing good. And that amounts to 30,000. We got to shift the spotlight. We got to shift the spotlight. We got another person that I like. I seen his battle versus XL on WBL, Philly League. 
WBL has been producing the Philly talent. WBL has been resurrecting the Philly battle scene I have seen. Ghost. You see, it's a problem to this point. So I had to cut the nozzle off. Nigga, the bone could like this. I catch the bodies, and it's ironic. It takes a cycle to off, nigga, so I won't need lead when I spread Excel for being a Microsoft, nigga. Ghost is dope with the punchlines. On top of that, he has something that I don't think he utilizes. He has a twin brother. My nigga Ghost, come on. It's so many things you can do with that, my nigga. I'm thinking, oh, damn, he got to do a two-on-two. -on -two. A two-on-two -two with, with him and be, against this and that person would be fucking dope and be sick. It's just so many variations, so many fucking angles, so many things you can do with a fucking twin brother, my nigga. I'm not saying, oh, gimmick. You, he, got, he got bars. Let me, let me not just take away from what he got. He got bars. He can spit. The, the nigga... Went back and forth with Excel on just bars alone. So you can only imagine how good this nigga is in terms of that. I'm not saying jump into the gimmick of the twin brother, but you acknowledge your strengths, my nigga. Acknowledge your strength. With, with having a twin brother and, and being as talented as you are, you can catapult faster than Big Hand. I'm spitting the real shit right now. But those are the two people that I like. And then the last person I want to talk about is Bliss Creed. Hold on. Uh huh. Talk Hold on. Let's go. Yeah, man. You the wordplay king? I'm king. You just play with words. I got away with words. You stole my reverse and thought that you got away with words. But they was weighted words. You should have waited the way the words. My line's heavy. I say when you get blown away with words. Hold on. That's somebody I was feeling a long period of time ago. A long period of time ago to, 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 to check back in and see things not be where they're supposed to be for him. There was a lot of talks back then about him, and like this is one of the guys that's next up. This is like create. He's very creative, versatile. He, nigga can freestyle. His punchlines are different, but it's a loss here, a loss over here. Choose those battles wisely. Choose those battles wisely. But the, the main thing I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing restructuring. I'm seeing growth amongst these people. These are the three people. That I want to shine some light on. Big Hand, Power Circle, Ghost, Bliss Creed. And, and think about this it's a movement, it's a unit within this people because they all spar in WBL. And before I get to going back to the vets, let's talk about one more thing. Uh, I've spoken to some people, I think I spoke to the owner of the WBL. Uh, <clears throat> How the Mook did it? The summer managed two. How you do these? How you do? They got five thousand. Philly this, Philly this, Philly that, Philly this. But, but, but they got five. They got five racks. They have five racks. So it's, it's more than just three Philly niggas. But I'm just pointing out people that that I like that off of, off a of first first glance. You see what I'm saying? They got. It's a lot more niggas. It's a lot more niggas. They got five thousand, my nigga. They're saying five for five. That means you bring your 5,000 and they got their 5,000 and we go heads up. Bring that man versus this man, this man versus that man. Everybody that lose, the winner takes 2,000. You collect that and collect that. Let's set that up. It's a lot of talk about Philly, but let's set that up. Philly's so easy. Philly this and Philly that. Philly can lose like that. So many L's. Why not take their money? Why not take their five thousand? Let me get in the camera so you can see what I'm saying too. Why not take their five thousand? This has to be an event. I'm calling everybody out. I'm calling a lot of people out. <laughs> PGs. Why not get paid? Niggas in the PG so confident. Why not bring a stack? Why not bring a stack? Had a PG's judge, RBE. Hmm. What's 
up, ARP? What's going on? Why not take they 5,000? You got Gunner's ARP. Spit that heat. Big Hand was just in your circle. What's up? It's a lot of things, but, you know, if you want to tuck your tail, you know, get under the ring, under the wing, whatever. We need to focus on the new class. To me, this is the new class. We got a lot more. I'm going to show some clips. But it's one person that I still have faith in. You know, he's one of my favorites is Reed Dollars. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, uh. For me, I just think Reed Dollars was not ready. You have failed this you know I, mean? I think he can make a strong return. I think Rex wants to battle him. I honestly believe Rex wants to battle him. Rex would have battled Reed Dollars before battling Danny Myers. And Danny Myers paid him 12000 so we need to set that up. I think Reed can get in his bag, and I think with him winning, it will shine a whole new light. But even if that doesn't happen, we still have this scene that people need to pay attention to. And it's something that I want to check in periodically throughout the year. I'm saying, like, I want to start a series. Like, the Apology series, I want to start a series like Philly Resurrection at least four times throughout the year. Your motherfucking boy, 